Glock's logo on my bra Black out night my heart Four bands for the egg Pour it like it's art Yo, hello, it's Revy here And in today's video I will be showing you guys how to make the rotating transition you guys saw in the beginning And if you guys want to support me I have a website so feel free to check that out I have some editing packs over there But yeah, let's get right into this so the first thing you're going to do is to add two clips you can make the transition between so i have imported two clips from the music video gang gang by the jack boys and the check quest and uh, what we want to do first here is to make a marker where we want to make the transition which is in this case going to be almost in the middle here around there make a marker by pressing the star key and then from here go 10 frames backwards and then drag out the clip then go back to the transition point and then go uh, 10 frames forward boom you guys can make more here as well if you guys want and first we're going to make a very small crossfade here so we're going to open up here on the first clip transform opacity and then press the clock here on opacity 100 percent at the point where it's 10 frames to the transition point and then here go all the way here and set it to zero mark the keyframes press F9 and open up the graph and here we want to drag this one all the way here and this one all the way here so it's going to fade here in the transition point and we're going to do the same with the one above so open it up press the clock here on opacity set it to zero instead and then set it to 100 here boom mark the keyframes press F9 open up the graph and then here we're going to drag this these two downwards a little bit and this one upwards just like that a pretty fast crossfade here and it will look a lot better when we add the rotation effect and now we're going to make a adjustment layer so you're going to press ctrl alt y and here we're going to add transform and we're going to keyframe here and we're going to keyframe the scale and the rotation and after that you're going to go to the transition point here and you're going to set the scale to 200 and then go 10 frames forward and set the scale to 100 and the rotation to one whole lap here and you guys can see that uh, there's like, you know, black bars here. So how to get rid of that is by adding an effect called motion tile. And here, just increase the output width to 200 and the output height to 200. And set it to mirror edges. So this is how it looks now. Pretty floppy, but uh, we're going to fix that. So the first thing we can do is to add motion blur here. Uh, this icon here. This basically makes the yeah, transition look a lot more realistic. We want to fix the graph here. So you're going to open the uh, transform effect here. Mark the scale keyframes. Press F9. And you're going to open the graph. And here I'm going to drag this one all the way to the middle. This one all the way to the middle. And then this one down here to the middle. Around there. And do the same thing with this one as well. Boom. So now you will get an impact on the scale here. And we were going to do almost the same thing with the rotation keyframes here. So mark them, press F9, open up the graph. And then here, drag this one around there. And this one around there. Just like that. So this is how the transition looks like now. It's pretty, pretty good. Yeah, I'm pretty, pretty satisfied with that. And if you guys want to uh, save your preset here, go up to animation, save preset. And from there, name it, whatever you want. So yeah, this looks pretty good. Now for some finishing touches, so we're going to pre-comp this, and here I just like to, you know, add a quick CC here, so I'm going to add deep low, mix around with the settings here, to one smooth blending, this looks good, add four color gradient, blue there, boom, then HUE, add the adjustment layer, control alt y and then here add vignette. Change the settings here to amount 197, 35. So yeah, just a quick nice CC and a rotation transition here. And uh, yeah, I think it looked pretty, pretty clean. And if you guys like the tutorial, please consider liking and subscribing. And don't forget to give me some new ideas on tutorials I can make. Don't forget to follow my socials, join my Discord server. And of course, check out my website if you guys want to support me. But yeah, I will see you guys soon. Take care and have a nice day.